and I want to welcome you to the assembly portion of our DVD. It's important that you know how to set up a freestyle skateboard. There are some subtle differences in the setup of a freestyle skateboard that's going to help you perform your tricks at a higher level with less uh, risk of injury. All right. The first thing I got is uh, my tools. I got my wheels. We're going to show you how to put the bearings in your wheels too. I got my trucks and I'm going to show you how to take apart the trucks and put in quality bushings. For freestyle, you want to have your bushings nice and tight, so I always change out the bushings. I got my skid plates over here. I got my washers and all my necessary hardware and even some motivated stickers. All right, I got my deck. I got the Keith Butterfield deck from SkateKings.com and I got a nice slab of uh, grip tape there. All right, here we go. When you put together a freestyle skateboard, you want to have a Phillips screwdriver, typically, a multi-purpose uh, tool, a file to help trim that excess grip tape, a ratchet, and even possibly a hand power tool. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble our wheels. All that really means is we're going to put our bearings inside of our wheels in order to prepare it for assembly of the actual skateboard. For me, I, w I use Skate King's Crown Jewels 98s. I already got one bearing in there. Freestyle wheels are typically center case bearings, so you don't have a big axle sticking out when you go into your rail tricks. I'm going to put my bearing on the truck. I can use the truck as a tool to kind of press down on it, spin it, make sure I got it even, then take it off, and we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, the next portion that you want to do is assemble your trucks. Okay, typically I use tracker trucks or bullet trucks. I've even used crux trucks. Any truck that you prefer that has about a seven and a half inch width for this particular skateboard. A lot of times they come with uh, factory uh, bushings, and I like to switch them out with uh, Cairo. Cairo makes a good hard bushing. I like to ride my freestyle skateboard with really tight trucks. Um, it just suits my style. Um, it's up to its individual preference. I put my big bushing on the bottom, my little bushing on top, get my shield, crank it down a little bit, and that's really it for the truck assembly. The next thing I want to do in order to speed up my skateboard uh, assembly is I go ahead and put my wheels on. These little washings give you a little bit of protection between the actual bearing and the, the axle. And as you put it on your board, I'm going to talk more about that when we get to adjustments. Okay, we're going to put our trucks on there. And once again, when we get to adjustments, I'll talk about the wheel play there. Okay, so basically we're ready to move on to the next one. Okay, now that we have our wheels and our trucks assembled with our bushings, there's only two steps left. We want to apply our grip tape. I like to have some cut extra pieces of grip tape. I'm going to show you what those are for in a little bit. I got my skid plates, one in the front, one in the back for some people. I, I like to just use one in the back. I got washers and all my other hardware to put on my trucks. And I like to use my riser pads. It takes off some of the pressure off the skateboard and avoids a cracking of the wood. Okay, here we go. Okay, the next portion of the, the deck assembly would be to go ahead and put your grip tape on. You want to put your grip tape on first because if you put your grip tape on last and you go try to make adjustments to your bolts, um, it's going to be covered by the grip tape. So you want to put your grip tape on first. Typically what I'll do is I'll put a sticker or something in the middle so my shoe could rotate there and uh, it'd be kind of a nice pivot point on walk the dogs and other certain tricks. So I like to have an open space here, but it's not required. Okay? You want to make sure you got your grip tape from end to end. And basically, you want to be very careful when applying your grip tape so you don't have to pull it off too many times. Okay, I went ahead and put my skateboard sticker on there. I already had it pre-lined up. So all I have to do really is make that line up. Kind of pat it down so you don't have no air bubbles. Try to travel with it up to the up to the top here. If you got to pull back, pull back a little bit. There's no big deal. This stuff's expensive. You don't want to mess it up. Okay. Once I have it on there, pat it down a little bit. Now I have a bunch of excess on the board. Okay. There's a good way to get the excess off with a rat tail file, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, you can do it with scissors before you put it on, but uh, this is the easiest way, the fastest way, and it looks the best. I'm going to show you right now.
find the edge of the bore, a nice secure area, kind of pinch it down like a clamp, and just try, use your rat tail file to just kind of travel with it. And as you can see, it wants to come right off. Okay, once you got that done, just kind of peel it right off. It's ready to go, it looks pro. Okay, now that I got my grip tape on my skateboard, I want to go ahead and punch the holes in it. So this way, if I need to tighten down my trucks later on, I got access to the bolts. They're not covered up. What I typically use is a sharp object. Go underneath the skateboard itself, find the holes, put it on a nice secure platform, and just kind of poke your holes real quick. Use a Phillips screwdriver or anything that will fit in there. Okay, now I got my holes in there, so when I have to assemble my trucks, I'm ready to go. Okay, now that we got the grip tape on the front of the skateboard, there's two areas underneath a freestyle skateboard where you also want to use grip tape. It's an area where your feet go quite often, and that's below the nose and below the tail. Okay, in order to do that, you want to pre-mark your board because you're going to have your skid plate on, and you don't want to put grip tape in the area where your skid plate is going to be tightened down. In order to pre-mark my board, what I do is I grab my uh, skid plate. And what I like to do is I like to leave a little bit of wood right here. So when you go up for those no-hand 50-50s, the wood contacts to the cement before the Teflon contacts the cement. It avoids sliding out. So I'll leave about a quarter inch of wood there. I'll make sure it's nice and even on the board. I'll mark my areas where I want to drill holes. And I'll scratch my board so I know where to put my grip tape so it's not too far. Okay, I got my grip tape on my nose. Nice big fat piece so my, my feet can contact to that. Then I want to use my grip tape in the back, once again, not to go past that line that I marked and not to pass my truck holes. As much grip tape as possible in between those two areas is what you want. So you can have it pre-cut and ready to go. Okay, it'll look something like that. And now we're ready to put on our skid plate. Okay, the next portion that we want to do is go ahead and put on our skid plates. Remember, I pre-marked my holes. I already drilled one hole. You want to use a quarter inch bit because on the opposite side of the board, this little black recessed um, Grommet is going to fit actually into the into the board like that and the little screws are going to fit into the uh, it's a male female end Which basically secures your skid plate So it's pre-marked I'm gonna get a box so I don't mess up my work area here Just take your time put some pressure on it Clean it out a little bit. You're basically ready to go. You tip it over, put in your two, uh, your two little uh, female ends here. You want to secure those with your fingers. Put your skid plate in place and go ahead and feed your screws into those areas. Start cranking down on it. Okay, from there, I'm ready to go. We'll tighten everything down when we get to adjustments. Okay, now we're almost ready to put together the whole skateboard and get out there and skate. The last thing we have to do is we have to attach the trucks to the board. All right, here we go. Typically, what I like to use is a uh, Cairo riser pad. Some people like to use big fat ones. And some people like to use um, lower ones. For the purpose of freestyle skateboarding, I use a lower one to really act as a shock absorber. If you don't have some kind of a shock absorber there and you do a lot of hard tricks or you're a big heavy guy, you can end up with a lot of pressure cracks in the wood of your skateboard. For freestyle, I ride my trucks really tight 
and this helps alleviate pressure cracks in the wood. With a regular skateboard, you might see people with a high riser pad, and what this does, it allows more of a turning radius with your wheels so you don't bite into your board. Like I said, for freestyle, I use it just for a shock absorber. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to pre-mark my holes so I can put my bolts through the other side. Now if I need to make any adjustments later on, all I need to do is grab my Phillips screwdriver and they're accessible. I'm going to use my hand and hold those down. I'm going to put my riser pad on. They come with multi multiple different holes, just like some of the trucks do. So you got to make sure that you're fitting everything the right way. I'm going to slide that on there. I'm going to put my truck on. Okay, now all I got to do is put a couple bolts on there just to secure it so we can start the uh, adjustment process. Right now, everything on the skateboard is loose. Okay, now we're ready for the second truck. Okay, when we do our adjustments, we want to go ahead and tighten down our, our trucks first. I use like a star pattern. I'll go from one bolt to the other bolt, opposite side, and then vice versa. Basically, you just want to have one of your skate tools, power drill, crank it down a little bit, go to the other side. Continue the process until you have them nice and snug. Okay, same thing in the back. My trucks are nice and snug now. I want to go ahead and adjust my uh, skid plate down. Because of the way that they feed into the deck, all you have to do is put a little pressure on them with your thumb. Get a Phillips head screwdriver. Crank down on a little bit. Make sure it's nice and secure. Once again, I got that excess wood right there. So I got wood to cement contact during my tricks. Okay, the purpose of the skid plate, if you haven't figured it out, is really just to help preserve your board a little bit. Okay, the last thing you want to do to set up your freestyle skateboard for adjustments is add a washer or take off a washer from the wheels. Remember, one of the main characteristics of a freestyle skateboard is the parallel board and doing tricks up on the rail. Okay, our bolt is recessed. That makes it different. The design of the actual freestyle skateboard is real parallel on the rail, rails. That's what makes it different. Remember, we're going to pop up and do a lot of rail tricks when most people are rolling around. That's what makes it so fun. Okay, we're going to add a couple washers. You want to basically flush it out. So your flush, what I mean by flush, is that you're basically, your wheel and your skateboard, when you stand on it with your shoe, you feel pretty secure up there. So you're not leaning too far forward or too far back. Okay, you do that to every single wheel, you get ready to go outside and have a good time, you enjoy your freestyle skateboard, enjoy your individual character and your style, refer back to this portion of the DVD if you have any questions on assembly, get out there and have a good time. Bam!